no, this is 309. My mama should have taught my ass how to ride a bike. I cannot. Public service announcement, ladies and gentlemen, I might not have all the answers to all your problems, but I got some weed. The best way to go about your day is get up off your ass and do some. Yeah, get on your money, try to move some. Yeah, go show the world, try to prove some. Yeah, yeah. Look. Hey, what's up? I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I thought it would be fun to just kind of film my last day of 29 a little bit. So you can see what I'm up to right now. I am, is my nose really crooked? No, it's good. Um, so right now I'm headed to Starbucks to get some coffee so I can <laughs> use the bathroom. Um, yeah like is this a thing that happens when you get older like you just like have a hard time like going is this tmi y'all help me like i ain't never turned 30 before i just i had to come and get gas because i'm all almost out um i just feel like i shouldn't have to buy this like it is my birthday i wonder if my husband reimbursed me child. <sighs> Y'all, this gas is 309. My mama should have taught my ass how to ride a bike. I cannot. This ain't it. Like, this really my birthday. This is really life as a grown up. I don't want it. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't even got 10 gallons in here yet, and it's already at $30. Get the roll blades out of the car. 40, because I don't want a lot of y'all. 46.26. I feel my eye twitching. Those for 15 gallons of gas for my Camaro. I just, they can have this car back. They can. They can have it all. I'll walk. I will walk. Cause I know I don't want to get on no, no bus. I'm not doing that. I just walk. It's fine. And Devon can drive. He can drive me around. I'm really hurt. <laughs> I'm sick. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and keep going so I can get my coffee. Oh, the other thing. Um, people out there who have like cycles once a month. Let me talk to y'all for a minute. Do y'all have the um do y'all get the booty hole cramps? Because I was trying to leave, like I tried to leave home like an hour ago and I could not get out the door because every time I moved it was like something just like grabbed me like ah you know do y'all get those? I was talking to my sister about it like a couple months ago. She was like oh no like I've never gotten that that sounds horrible Number one, it is. Number two, don't talk to me because she never gotten cramps like her whole life with her cycle. Um, she was cramping after she delivered my niece actually. And so we called the nurse in because my sister was like, oh, I'm having like some, some pains. It just kind of feels like squeezing. She was like, it's not really, you know, like, ah, uh, but it's just different. I never felt this. And so the nurse was like, do they feel like period cramps? My sister, oh, I ain't never had them. I don't know what that is. So anyway, I'm about to go spend some more money on some coffee, I guess, so I can, maybe that'll help my, my butt, who knows. I just, y'all, uh, y'all, please tell me this ain't <laughs> what the rest of my life about to be. Y'all ain't saying. Right. So headed back home, got my coffee. They didn't have the impossible breakfast sandwich that I wanted. Um, this Starbucks is really barren. I'm tempted to drive to another one to see if they have my sandwich. But also, I think I just need to go home and like not spend more money at this point. But 
when I get home, I'm gonna show y'all the new kitchen. Me and my husband actually did some renovations to our house that we've been in for maybe six years now. I don't know how long. I stopped counting um, because houses are expensive. <laughs> and you have to pay people to come and fix on them all the time. But we actually redid all of the flooring in the house and I got a new kitchen. I love that kitchen so much. I be in there like redrumming y'all. Like, like, here's what's happening on the ranch. Except we don't live in the ranch and I do not be playing with like cows and pigs and all of that stuff. But head at home and I'm gonna do some more stuff there. Cool. All right, so I'm back home and I said that I was going to show the kitchen. Um, I'm just going to show like the actual kitchen. There's the cat back there eating all her little thing. Can y'all see her? Hey, girl. So I'm going to show like the kitchen part and everything. And I'll show like the cool door that I have now for my home, like pole studio slash office. Um, getting that set up i actually have two offices at home which is gonna be like really really nice for me to separate like my day job and like my vlogging and everything that i like to do dang kj she got her little toy but okay let me go ahead and flip this thing around so y'all can see my kitchen okay so here she is it's a mood it's a vibe a moment all that so i got like my great cabinets and stuff um i got butcher block countertops and shelves i wanted to go with like gray stuff just because my husband is a mechanic and sometimes like those hands be a little bit grimy until he can like get in the shower and everything it's like no like he should be able to come in here and eat and everything if he wants to like before he you know showers he should be able to grab a quick thing and so like everything is soft clothes still getting stuff in here oh, I love it I love it and then shelves still trying to really figure out what to do with it but for right now I got like my wines up top um, and then just like some liquors and stuff right there. Like I want a decanter. That'll be nice in here. That'll be a good vibe. Um, as you can see, my Tennessee honey is almost gone. Like that's, that's what I like. Hint, hint, is anybody want to see me something? And then I got my subway tile, but this barn door is probably my favorite thing in here. So I keep it cracked because my cat likes to go in and out. But when you open it up, slide that. Here is my pole room. So I'm still getting everything organized. You can see like paint and stuff is still down there. But getting this reorganized and set back up again, I'm going to get like some decor and stuff to go down here. Um, so it can be like my second home office that's strictly for you know my vlogging and blogging and other like content creation stuff that I want to do like for me um I feel like it's really important to have this stuff separate hi ma'am I feel like it's really important to have this stuff separate from like my actual day job just because you need the separation Hi, friends. My cat really likes bullying my dog. Hi, friend. You gonna say hello to the internet? No. But when I was doing all that stuff before, you just wanted to run around all over the place. That's fine. Basically, like my whole like thought process for having the two home offices for myself um just that i have different workspaces so like where i work for my like actual like corporate day job i feel like especially when you've been working from home for a while like for context i've been working from home for like three and a half years now i think and it can be really easy when you're working from home to like not have that separation between you know work-life balance and everything like that 
So I have that office with like my whole setup in there for that stuff. When I'm not working, I really am not in there if, unless it's to take care of my plants, which I need to let the window up so they can like get some sunlight. But I want separation. So I don't go in there to do my other things like vlogging, vlogging, um, doing like side projects for people that hire me to do things. I don't want to do that in there because I feel like with me and like the way my like ADHD is kind of set up, I multitask to the point where like, you no, know, I'll sit there for hours and I'm just like doing little bits of everything. Like I, it's hard for me to focus. So that's why I'm having a separate office down here behind this barn door. And yeah, so I guess I can kind of document that whole thing too, like as I get everything organized down there. Um, but I'm planning on having like a separate computer in there. I tried the whole having my personal computer in the same room as my work computer. And mentally, I just cannot do it. It doesn't work for me. So yeah, um, probably about to watch a little TV and then come up with a game plan for getting everything else ready. Two of my friends are actually coming to spend my birthday weekend with me at the house, which is nice. So they should be getting here like sometime tomorrow night. So I'm going to finish getting their room ready. And then I got some stuff from Amazon coming. I ordered like a few dresses or something in case we go somewhere. Yeah. Um, I'm almost done drinking my coffee. So... Hopefully something happens soon. All right, so I'm chilling right now for a little bit. About to watch some YouTube stuff. I just edited a TikTok earlier and I'm gonna start editing like this video in a little bit because I have to like hand type my captions myself. Do not mess up my tripod, KJ. Bruh, like no peace. Um, I have to hand type my captions cause your girl got an accident. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. But yeah, so I will go and get my computer and probably sit here like with my little lap desk and I work on that stuff. Mm. I still have not done anything to get that other room ready. Um, I need to wash the sheets. I did buy some sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and wash those so I can put them on the day bed and get it ready for my friends when they pull up tomorrow. Yeah, like it's just been a real chill day because like I'm not trying to spend no more money. I told y'all that. I'm probably going to work out later too. That's a solid plan. That's a solid plan. I like that. It sounds good at least. We'll see if I actually work out. Why can't? Um, oh, I guess I can. Y'all so jealous of each other. So kind of, I think at this point, what I'm doing with the YouTube channel is whatever I feel like. So I might share some of like my journaling stuff, but really I think this whole thing just turning 30, like one, I'm really, really excited about it. I feel like my 20s were cool. They were all right, but I'm excited for 30 in particular. I just think I'm starting to come into my own as a person, especially when it comes to dealing with my mental health and just prioritizing my peace. So this past year, for example, this past year, I found out that I have ADHD as well, on top of generalized anxiety disorder and depression. And yeah, it just has made a whole lot of stuff make sense for me, like that I've gone through in my life. Like just thinking back to when I was in school, like I was a straight A student, but I would tell my mom, you know, I have a hard time focusing and her reason, like her thing she told me to do to resolve it was just to sit at the front of the classroom. It was like, I'm still not paying attention when I'm there. 
I'm reading all these colorful posters on the wall. So a lot of my time spent at home, like doing my homework, I actually had to go through and like teach myself some of the stuff. Um, so I had to get good, like it was different things that I did along the way, like just with my notes and things to try and keep my brain on track when I was in class, just a lot. But all that to say like the ADHD makes so much sense for me. And I want to use the channel to talk about that stuff because I don't really see a lot of black women in particular talking about their mental health and just like neurodivergence and stuff. And I think it's a good thing to chat about. So hopefully y'all will enjoy that journey. And then I think the other thing too is just I want to have fun and I want people to see that it's okay to be grown and have fun so i like started my tiktok up again because i think i'm hilarious so i mean nobody else has to think that i'm funny but i think i'm funny so i would like to share that with people uh it makes me happy at the end of the day so yeah i'm gonna get off of this caption a little bit grab a computer and do some more stuff and we'll see where we end up So it's eight o'clock and I just realized that I have not eaten all day. So I'm going to do that. But basically I had a chill day just doing grown up stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, my hip did give out in the Target parking lot when I was leaving. So I guess my husband was right when he said that 29 was gonna take me up out of here. But yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. I'll probably, tomorrow will be more eventful so i'll get some stuff going then as well but yeah probably post some teaser clips on instagram and stuff and like facebook or whatever yeah this is the first time i'm doing one of these vlog things i mean i feel like i'm on track everybody else just be rambling and stuff so i'm a real youtuber I'm a real one, but I'm finna eat because this is crazy. And then also my eyes twitching. It's been doing it all day. All right, y'all stop talking to me so I can go. Okay, bye-bye. What? Where? Oh, yes. Is it itchy or sore? Kind of. Um, cause it like, it has a head on it, but it, it's like dark the head part like it might pop oh. but like don't make it pop okay. it might when you like get in the shower you don't see okay so real quick before i eat before i eat so i'm excited about this shirt because my friend denitra owns a, um she owns a bank bankery she owns a bakery in Somerville, South Carolina, and it's called Swank Desserts. And so when she opened a couple years ago, like she opened the actual shop, she had these black versions of these shirts as part of like the Kickstarter rewards. And when I tell you, I wear that shirt every week, like I still wear it, but like the back, the back of my black one just says desserts there's nothing else on it like all of like the little cute logo stuff is gone it's just like the black part and desserts so i'm excited about this she sent this with my cake i can't wait for y'all to see my cake tomorrow i can't wait to see my cake i haven't looked in the fridge i haven't looked in the fridge so i gotta avoid the fridge nobody's making me i'm just you know, when you get older, birthdays just aren't as exciting. So you got to say what you can get. So I'm going to act like it's Christmas and just, you know, I'll wait till tomorrow to see what my cake is looking like. Might eat some for breakfast. Might try and wait on Tanisha and Randy to get here. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'm excited. I haven't been this excited for a birthday in years. 
like years. Like I think the last time I was this excited was a few years back when we took a trip to Asheville. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to the chiropractor and get my neck snapped by Dr. Johnson. I really love her. Um, and then I'm going to come back here and do some makeup and finish getting things together. I did like make that day bed yesterday for my friends. Finally took me all day and I did eat last night. But yeah, um, I will do those things. I'll probably do like some birthday stuff in a separate video because I don't want this one to get too long. But yeah, so far I've gotten some really great messages. I have not been looking at the camera that whole time. I just been staring at myself. Cause I'm just like, it's my birthday. I'm 30. Well, I'll be 30 in a few hours officially. Yeah, in like two hours, but I'm 30. Oh my gosh. I love it here already. <sighs> yeah, okay, so let me finish getting ready so I can go to this appointment and we'll wrap this thing up soon. Not me lying like I was going to have my makeup and stuff done. I've been in the house cleaning. I went to Target again. Had no business. I went for four pillows and then I came out $241 later. But that's none of y'all's business. Um, I will do my makeup later on. Randa is almost here. So I'm excited. So I'm just finishing up stuff. Get ready for her to get in here. Um... I guess I can go ahead and wrap the video up now. Um, I'll post pictures and stuff from the rest of like my birthday weekend and everything on Instagram. But yeah, like I really guess to summarize like my 20s and what I've learned, um, I learned that it's okay to be me. And I feel like I'm finally understanding who I am. Like I'm a quirky black girl who has a lot of different interests. Um, if you were around for any of my other iterations of YouTube. You know that. Um, I was doing makeup at one point. Um, I was into plants for a little bit. And I mean, I think it's cool to have all of those different interests and also talk about like why I got into those certain things, which is, you know, I feel like it's a good outlet for the sake of my mental health, which is something that I've never really talked about much online. But with me... You good? With me being grown, grown now since I'm 30, um, yeah, I feel like I'm ready to get into it. So hopefully y'all will stick around for that journey with me. And I'll still mix in some of the other stuff along the way, but I think it's definitely like in my best interest for me to talk about some of the stuff that I've never really talked about because honestly, like being real with myself, like over the past decade, has got me to where I am now mentally. Like because of that, I'm able to go into rooms with certain people, like in my day job, for example, and just say what I have to say and move on. Like however you perceive that because of the way I look or the way that I speak, it that has nothing to do with me. Like those are your issues you have to work through. And I'm embracing that. And because I'm embracing that, like I've been able to do so many things that I never thought I would be able to do. Um, so yeah, it's cool. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thanks for sticking through my final day of 29 and bringing in 30 with me. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Bye. But shit, I'm a dreamer. I firmly believe in making cheese while I'm searching for peace. I gotta keep my feet on the ground. Expanding my wisdom. Continue grinding for greatness. It's a separate digging.